Alright, time to review ECM Titanium. ECM Titanium is a little bit similar to StageX and in some ways HP tuners, but you can open up any file that's an ECU file with ECM Titanium versus HP tuners where you have to open it up, usually with your own HP tuners device. Sometimes if you read someone else's HP tuners device, you'll even right, have And then problems. when you select a file, uh, you'll have this screen, it'll show you similar files. So in this way, an example of the maps that you'll see. And this is a pretty good selection and you'll see how it's laid out. It's pretty nice, um, it's very intuitive. Some of these maps or drivers are not as well defined as you may like. So even in, with the same car, you may find uh, some of the map files will be lacking in certain ways that you would really like to be able to tune in. You'll be able to load comparison projects in here, which is very nice. Why I would do the credit version is because uh, there's no annual fees it's a lot less than the full master and you pay like for what you use. So there might be an instance where you'll be able to have a file that, you know, you can use in conjunction with the Winnels. So now that I have ECM titanium and Winnels, it, it's kind of nice to look at both. You know, you can use one to kind of help out with the other, find some maps and what have you. Um, so yeah, would I recommend ECM titanium? Yes, but for a limited scope, it's not going to be just a complete overall, yes, everyone needs it. It's going to be much easier just to focus on calibration, just like uh, HP tuners, which is which is a big deal, which is one of the things I think is most interesting. Uh, because Windows, you're going to spend a lot of time on, you know, looking at the files, maintaining the files, defining the maps. That's a big deal for Windows. Windows is going to be a lot of reverse engineering. There is a like reseller market on Windows where you can buy map packs and what have you, but it's not as easily defined as ECM Titanium where it has everything or StageX where it has everything or HP Tuners. Um, and so HP Tuners is probably the easiest just to get into and start working on your calibrations. And then ECM Titanium would be kind of one step beyond that where you want to use different tools you want to be able to work on uh maybe files that hp tuners can't read or what have you and then after that you would go to winnels i think and that would be giving you more control over what's actually being uh done at the file level and to really map you know map match directly like you can see the direct reason why they're saying oh this is the map there and you can say, oh yeah, that makes sense, or no, this doesn't actually make sense. And that type of control, I think, will help people out a lot in terms of being able to have a one-time deal, like this map is perfect for this car, this file is perfect for this car. And that can be something that's really important. You know, you don't always want to be able to um, go out and send a file that you're not 100% sure will work exactly as intended because the maps might be slightly off, the offset might be slightly off, what have you. And that does happen in ECM Titanium, and I, I hear it does happen in StageX, uh, just, you know, due to the nature of the game. Um, and that is, you know, kind of the biggest drawback, I would guess, is that sometimes the maps aren't perfect, and, and that's a pretty big drawback. Uh, on the other hand, the auto checksum is very, very useful, and... Um, that's something that Winnels in its 5.0 version does not do, where you actually have to go and buy, uh, you know, credits to be able to do the, um, you know, the, you actually have to buy credits to be able to do uh, the checksums, which are expensive. And I would suggest uh, that that's really useful for PCM Flash. For other tools that may have the checksum involved, like already in the, the you know, baked in, for example, um, you know, Hexprog 2, I'm pretty sure Flex also does that. I'm pretty sure AutoTuner also does that. I'm pretty sure B-Flash and these type of tools will do the checksum for you. So if you have that, a capability within your tool, it might not be as important for an ECM flash, or excuse me, an ECM titanium. Uh, and you might want to go with the Stagex over an ECM titanium. Uh, and if you're a little bit more advanced, if you're more into the files, if you're more of like a computer programmer, 
um, then you're probably going to want to go to Winnell's. ECM titanium is much more for people who want to calibrate. And I know it's a small distinction. And when you say tuner, it, it covers a area so vast now that one person really isn't going to be an expert in everything in terms of tuning. Like there's just so much. I mean, yeah, maybe there's going to be some people here and there, but these engines are so complex uh, physically, right? But also in their software development. And um, and then they also operate a lot of things kind of, you know, in a black box. You know, there is a lot of sort of, I, I'm not sure I would call it AI, but there is a lot of machine learning or learning going on with, um, you know, a tri-core type of Bosch system. So a lot of times when you program a car or you tune a car, I like to tell a client, hey, this is going to take some time to learn everything because it's got to fill in all the cells to figure out what's going on. And then it's going to optimize based on that. So ECM Titanium, HP Tuners, StageX, really nice software for calibration. HP Tuners is going to be a one package deal where the same tool that you read with um, will unlock the software and it will help you calibrate and it'll be very quick, easy calibration. ECM Titanium is going to be slightly harder to calibrate. You know, it's not going to be quite as easy with the tables. And then, but you'll have much more flexibility in terms of the cars you can work with. Um, StageX is going to plug into Winnells in a way that ECM Titanium doesn't. And I'll get into that in a future video, but StageX does have some pretty deep integration with uh, Winnells in terms of identifying maps. So you can use like StageX maps right into Winnells um, in, a, in a very easy way to do it and execute it. So, you know, that'll be a future video, but I wanted to give you guys a heads up on what ECM Titanium is, who would want it, why you'd do it, why you'd choose it over a StageX uh, or a PCM Flash, um, excuse me, or HP Tuners, and why you might choose a Winnells over an ECM Titanium. So I think I've given a breakdown, but just one more time, calibration. It's, it's more of a calibration tool, this one. And Winnells is going to be more of like a reverse engineering tool um, where it has the ability to edit maps and calibrate. You know, you definitely can do that. You can make quite a bit of edits on to, uh, you know, files with Winnells. Um, and ECM Titanium has a little bit of that capability with the custom drivers, but it's not going to be as advanced as um as a winnells so ecm titanium has a really interesting place it's very good with checksums really easy with the maps but the maps are varying quality and they don't always match up exactly so that is my review of ecm titanium